Olympics, but the semi-finals were certainly not lacking in excitement. First semi-final of the women's 800 metres, Australia represented here by Kerry Taylor, this pretty classy field. From the inside, it's Clarkson of Scotland, Rattray of Jamaica, Baker of England, Musopa of Zambia, Gendron of Canada, Bawamba of Kenya, Cater Australia, Adiru of Uganda on the outside in the red. They've run the 120 metres and now come across. Terry Cater, second from the left there. They've got to finish in the first four to gain a place in the women's 800 metre final. In the white, Lorraine Baker of England heads them off with 200 uh, metres down in this first semi-final of the 800 metres. Adiru of Uganda in the red, the Kenyan girl for Wamba lying third, and then the Scott Ann Clarkson in fourth place. The Ann Clarkson of Scotland is the best uh, rated of all of these girls, and in fact, this is the whole field. She's done some excellent times this year, and certainly uh, Terry Taylor will have a job cut out to, to be able to beat her in the final. The Jamaican Kathy Strattray now making a move around the outside of the field in the yellow top and green shorts. Still it's the Rain Baker of England with one lap down in a minute, point eight seven of a second. Baker leads the field into the second and final lap of this first semi-final of the women's 800 metres. The Ugandan, Adiru in on the inside. Pawamba up on the outside. The Scott Clarkson uh, poised there in the middle of the field. Terry Cater with a wall of runners in front of her as they go into the back straight with about 250 metres to go. Baker piloting the field. Clarkson moving up into second position. Pawamba of uh, Kenya is there third. On the inside of Deeru and Cater's got the job in front of her. She's got five of them in front of her at the moment. She's got to get past a couple that she's going to get through. Into the final, there's a fall. The Kenyan for Wamba's down. And that certainly helps Cater's cause because she's poised now to move into fourth position. But coming into the straight, just over 100 to go. Baker leading from Clarkson. England leading from Scotland. Then it's back to Adiru of Uganda. Cater lying fourth and getting plenty of encouragement. Baker in front of Clarkson. They've got it between them. Cater running into third place. She's in the final, and look at these two, going to the line together, having a bit of a chat about it. Clarkson there first, Baker second, Cater finished third, 204.07 in the first semi-final. They've put down about 200 metres in the first lap of this 800 metre semi-final. Heather Barrelet coming across now from the outside looking for the lead. McDermott of Wales in the red, Barrelet ranges up alongside her. In third position, Carol Lightfoot the Scott. And Hassan, the English girl, uh, poised fourth. Hughes of New Zealand fifth. The Kenyan, Boale sixth. And tailed off is Muga from Papua New Guinea. McDermott leads the field into the straight for the first time. Barrelet in second position. Lightfoot lying third. Hassan fourth. And the New Zealander Hughes is next. Heather Barrelet has the fastest time in the Commonwealth this year out of this particular field here. So she should get through in the first four without any worries. But we'll watch with great interest Shireen Hassan of uh, England, number 236 and also the Scottish girl, Heather Bell. At 11.84 through the first 400 metres. McDermott still leading the field. Farrellette's been in great form this year. She's running up at her shoulder. Lightfoot third. Now the Kenyan. Wale moving around. They're moving into third position. First four go into the final. Still the Welsh girl, McDermott, in front. But Farrellette looks as if she's doing it nicely. Yes, that's right. Hughes is just coming around the outside there, but I'd say Heather is very, very comfortable. And Hassan of England making her move now over in the back. 200 to go. Hassan dashes to the front from McDermott. Hughes of New Zealand third. Barrelette lying in fourth position. The field starting to string out on the bend. About 120 to go. Hassan in front of McDermott, who's coming out after her. And now Barrelette pulls out to make a run in the straight. Don't hurry, Heather. You've got plenty of time. She's in no trouble at all. Hassan in front of McDermott. Hughes and Barrelet uh, fighting it out for third and fourth. But Shireen Hassan of England goes down to the line to win the second semi-final of the women's 800 metres. Kirsty McDermott of Wales second. Hughes of New Zealand third. Barrelet of Australia fourth. Very intelligent of Heather there to not put in a tremendous finishing burst. Resist that temptation to take notice of your dream. Away they go in the women's 800. Baker of England leading. Through on the inside is Cater. That's Baker in the white. Hughes of New Zealand. Then Barrelet, Followed by Clarkson, who's going to be one of the big dangers. Barrelet showing plenty of pace in the early stages as they run 120 metres in their lanes before crossing over. They're about to cross now as they go into the back straight for the first time. Up on the pace also, McDermott of Wales in the red. And coming across from the inside is Baker of England and out wide a Barrelet of Australia. They've put down almost 200 metres. And a few of them up there looking for the lead. A fairly frantically run race in the early stages. 
Adira of Kenya starting to uh, push and shove her way up, but it's McDermott settling down just in front on the inside. Barrelette on the outside, and coming up three wide is uh, Baker of England with Adira of Kenya out wider still. They come into the straight for the first time with McDermott leading Barrelette, Baker, Adira, and Kata. Kirsty McDermott from Wales, a very, very well performed runner. Heather Barrelet aggressively sticking right on her shoulder, and now moving just a little bit of that fraction of an inch in front because of the advantage. They get the bell, 400 to go. They've gone through in just over one minute. McDermott and Barrelet sharing the lead. Baker up on the outside. The Ugandan girl in the red, Adiru. Clarkson back there in the middle. Cater on the inside. Clarkson starting to make a move now. And the crowd really starting to make some noise as they storm into the back straight with about 260 metres to go. Barrelet on the outside. McDermott the inner. Then Baker. Clarkson moving up now, starting to think about making her move. Then it's back to Cater and Hassan of England. Six of them really in the hunt at this stage with just over 200 to go. Clarkson makes her move now. Can Barrelet go the pace? Clarkson and McDermott. Barrelet starting to unwind. Then it's back to Baker and Cater and Hassan of England. Into the straight now. 110 metres to go. McDermott, Clarkson, Barrelet lying third. She's poised to make her bid. Can she do it? McDermott and Clarkson. Barrelet trying hard. I don't think she can do it. It's McDermott and Clarkson. Neck and neck they go. 30 metres to go. McDermott getting on top. McDermott of Wales wins the women's 800. Clarkson second, Barrelet third. Cater finished fourth. But Kirsty McDermott of Wales wins the gold. And Clarkson the silver. Heather Barrelet the bronze.